GamesWeasel.com Review Gamers are used to dying when playing through most games, but Ghost Trick is different as you start off already dead. It's an interesting concept as you play through the game as the blue spirit of a guy called Cecil, as you possess objects, try to save people's lives, and also find out who killed you and why. Using the stylus or the d-pad, you switch into ghost mode to move from object to object, then press the trick button and interact with them to move about the scene and distract people. For example, you can open doors and make instruments play on their own accord, or distract an assassin to give the victim a chance to escape. You'll also need to manipulate objects so you can get from A to B. It really is a lot of fun, as you need to work out the order in which to do things, and also time your interactions well to get further into the game. It would be possible for the game to get a bit too dark, what with watching people die and then going back in time 4 minutes to stop the unfortunate events from happening again. It's good then that the graphics and dialogue have a lighter tone and make the game more like an interactive cartoon. It's certainly a concept I've never seen before. You can even talk directly with people and animals by jumping into their cores to find out more information. Puzzles also have a bit of a trial and error feel about them as you try to do things in the right order. For example, you may only have one chance at making a donut fall in the right direction from a bowl. Get it wrong and you'll have to go back to the last checkpoint and work out how to do it properly. Some people may not like this, but I didn't find it too grating replaying these short sections again. My only gripe is that there isn't much variety in the game. New abilities and actions only seem to appear towards the end of the game and it would have been nice to feel more progression in the middle sections. Still, Ghost Trick is one of the most original puzzle games on the DS and is a lot of fun to play so it gets an almost perfect 9 out of 10. You've been watching a review from Games Weasel. If you want to get the show each week which includes video game reviews, news, previews, competitions and special features then head over to gamesweasel.com for our video podcast Games Weasel TV. GamesWeasel.com